Hello, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a small book haul. So I just got back from McKay's, which is a used bookstore somewhat near me. I do have to take a bit of a drive to get there, but I still call it my local bookstore. Let's be real. And all of this stuff I got with trade credit. So I took a really big bag of books to unhaul there, some of which were from my unhaul video from a couple of days ago. So definitely go back and watch that one to see some of the books I unhauled. I didn't talk about all of the books that I took to McKay's, but I talked about most of them. So the first thing I got is not actually a book. It is a puzzle and it is still in the shrink wrap and it was $11 in trade credit and it's a 500 piece puzzle and it's these state parks. So we have a bunch that I've been to, um, Smoky Mountains, the Redwoods, the Grand Canyon, um, Zion, Shenandoah National Park, which is very close to where I live. And so I'm really excited about this because it's new. So I know that all the pieces are going to be in there. Most of the puzzles that they had had like a little sticker saying that like they don't know if all the pieces are in there and they expect people to just use the honor system like when they sell them. Um, but this is so cute. The brand is called Pippi Post and it looks like the author lives in Southern Utah. And yeah, this seems like just a really cute, fun little puzzle. And then I also got a card game called Lowdown and I actually got this for my boyfriend. I'm gonna put it in his stocking for Christmas. So if you saw the stocking stuffing video, this is gonna go in there as well. So it looks like it's like numbers and you like lay them out, deal your cards in a three by three grid, replace high value cards with low value cards. There's action cards so you can peek at or swap or steal cards and then you can clear rows by matching colors. So it seems pretty interesting. And this, this has one of those stickers that say like they aren't sure about the count of cards, but I mean, if there's a card min missing, I probably wouldn't even notice with a card game like this. So I felt like this was a pretty good risk and it was $5 in trade credit. Okay, now on to the books. I think I have this book on my Amazon wish list, and I saw it and it has deckled edges. We all know how I feel about that. But this is um, The Orphan Train by Christina Baker Klein. And so now I can go in and take it off of my Amazon wish list and it was a dollar and 25 cents in trade credit and this is about the orphan trains in the early 1900s that carried thousands of abandoned children whose fates would be determined by pure luck from the east coast cities to the farmlands of the midwest so we move between contemporary maine and depression era minnesota so it looks like it's multiple timelines which we know i love so yeah this seems exactly like what i love in my historical fiction books so i'm very excited for this one next we have sold on a monday by christina mcmorris and i heard about this from Krista from Books and Jams and it looks like this is set in the 1930s and it's blurbed by Sarah Gruen who wrote Water for Elephants which I really love so yeah I am excited about this one I haven't heard a whole lot about it but I trust Krista's recommendations then I have one more historical fiction book and it's The Magnolia Palace by Fiona Davis and this was actually in the thriller section or like the mystery section rather and um, I've seen this there multiple times but it was always the hardback version and it was always like 10 or $15 in trade credit. And this was actually $4.74. And it looks like this is, and it looks like this takes place during the Spanish flu outbreak of 1919 in New York City. And I read a Ella Marie Wiseman book about the Spanish flu and I really loved it. So I'm hoping that this is kind of similar, but it looks like it's also dual timeline. And I've just always been in love with that cover. So hopefully this is a good one. Okay, I have three more and they're all thrillers. So the first is It's Always the Husband by Michelle Campbell. And I'm pretty sure that Michelle is the same Michelle Campbell that just wrote The Intern that I really loved just a couple of months ago. And so I learned about this because my friend Elizabeth read it and she loved it. I'm pretty sure she gave it like four stars. Um, but I saw it and I messaged her. I was like, is this the book you were talking about? And she was like, yes, it is. So I picked it up because it was only a dollar and a half in trade credit. I even really know what it's about. I just picked it up because uh, uh, we read very similarly. But it says a suspenseful absorbing knowledge that examines the complexities of friendship. 
will keep you guessing right up to its shocking conclusion. And I do remember her saying that there was some good twists. Elizabeth is the first person I know who's read this and I haven't heard anything else about it, but I trust her opinion, so we'll try it. Then I have The Girl Who Lived by Christopher Grayson. And this is one that just piqued my interest because of the cover and because of how thin it was. And I decided to look at it and try it out. And, and the font like is weirdly, like there's no margins on these pages, but it's only 204 pages. And I have never read anything by this author. I haven't even heard of him before. And it looks like this is the first in a series, but I'm glad that it's the first book because then I still probably, like even if it's a five star, I probably won't be interested in picking up the rest of it. But apparently this girl survived a mass killing and as the anniversary of the murders approaches, she's released from a psychiatric hospital buzzword there and yanked back to the last spot on earth she wants to be her hometown where the slangs took place how can one woman uncover the truth when everyone's a suspect including herself so she's trying to track down the killer but people are suspecting her as well so seems like a pretty thrilling suspense novel and then the last book that i have is the last imitation by darby kane and this is like a brand new copy and I like that it's in paperback and this was $5.75 in trade credit. And I read Pretty Little Wife and I liked it okay. It seems like it's similar to The Collective where there's like this powerful group of women that choose like people to murder, like men who have done bad things. And so that to me is just super intriguing. And since I love The Collective, maybe this one will be just as good. Okay, so that is my mini haul the six books that I got from McKay's, three historical fiction and three thrillers, and then the cards and the puzzle. So let me know down in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what did you think of them? We are so close to the end of Vlogmas. Please hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell so you get notified whenever I upload and I will see you in the next video. Bye.